Now that you've accomplished the bulk of your modeling, it's time to set up your documentation. And so the first step is sheets. I'm going to come over here and double click on my A100 unnamed sheet. That brings up this. This has a title block. Basically everything inside of here is what's going to show up on your sheet. Now generally when your sheet is going to print, it's going to use this bottom left corner as your justification. And so anything that you put outside of here, it's going to assume that that's the bottom left corner of what you want on your sheet, and it's going to throw everything off to the side. So if you have a print and your title block is halfway up the page, check out and see if there's anything below this horizontal axis, or again, if it's kicked over to the side, if there's anything to the left of this vertical axis of this bottom left corner of the sheet. Now changing sheet names and numbers is really easy. I can click on A100-unnamed, and I can click here where it says sheet name, and I can just type things in. If I click somewhere else, I've accepted that, and now I've got a site sheet set up. Now there's a few different ways that I can create new sheets. The first way is by right-clicking on Sheets and selecting New Sheet. With this option, I can choose which title block I want. In this case, I only have the one loaded in here, so I can click OK. And now I've got 101-unnamed. 101 is a sequential number based on the last sheet that I've created. So I can highlight this, I can type in 200, and I can type in floor plan. Now another way that I can create a lot of sheets all at once is by selecting floor plan, using control C, and then clicking somewhere else and using control V a bunch of times. So holding control, I'm gonna hit V five times. Now I've got sheets. I can go through these and I can click on this one and then change the number, and so on. And once I have those, I can change the names appropriately. So this is a fairly common setup for a sheet numbering and naming system. As you start with your site, you have your floor plans and then your elevations, your sections, your interiors, and then your details, which you'll have a bunch of these sheets, and then your schedules. Now another way that I can create another sheet is if I right click on site and I can click duplicate sheet. In this case, there's two options where I can duplicate with empty sheet or with detailing. I don't really have anything like schedules or legends on the sheets right now, and so I don't need to use this. If it, Either way, it's going to be the same thing. I can just click Empty Sheet, and I get a copy of that one. I can change this to Cover, and this to Zero. Now that I have my sheets, I want to create a sheet list. If I click on Schedules, and then Sheet List, now this dialog box has all the different parameters that are relevant to sheets. If I scroll down to the bottom, I've got Sheet Name and Sheet Number. So if I move Sheet Name over, and then Sheet Number over, it's out of this list and into this one, but I want to rearrange these because I want my number first. So I'll click on that and that'll show up first going left to right. I can then come up to current revision, move that one over, and it'll add it to the last one that I have selected. And I'll move that one over. Now that's looking good, I can click OK. Now if I hold Control and scroll my mouse, I can zoom in. Now I've got down here, this is technically out of order, so I'm going to click on sorting and grouping and then change this, the first one, sort, sort by sheet number, and then use ascending. Click OK, and this moves that up to the top, and that's looking really good. I can close this, and then I can come over to my schedules and quantities, and I can click on sheet list, hold that, drag it over, and then let go. That's going to drop this over here on my sheet, and I can zoom in, and then I can use this grip here to change the length of that so that actually all of these show up in one single line. I'm going to move this one over a little bit so that that's all just two lines and double clicking the middle mouse button will zoom extents and that's looking really good. I've got all these extra views open now so I'm going to use this close all inactive windows or close all inactive views. Click on that and that'll close the extra windows that I have open. Now that I've got all that I'm going to save. And there we go we've got our sheets. Now if you haven't already please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.